Hey everybody, Patrick with Triptych Canine and of course Twix. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today is episode 17 of Triptych Canine's Tuesday Training Tips. And today we're going to talk about the goals of dog training. Or at least one of my goals as a trainer and the other goal that I see in the broader spectrum of pet dog training. The first goal having to do with me as a trainer and how I conduct myself with my clients is the goal is to equip my clients with all of the knowledge and skills that they need to be successful with their dog, both now and in the future with any other dogs that they may have. Because any of the knowledge and skills that I pass on right now can absolutely be carried over into other dogs. And the big goal with that is that I don't want my clients to ever need another trainer, even me, again, unless it is necessary for an extreme case of, let's say, aggression or something like that. The second goal, which is much larger and has to do with pet dog training as a whole, is the goal of having a well-behaved dog that can conduct itself appropriately within the confines of the rules and structure that you have created. An example of this would be you're having a barbecue or a cookout at your house, you have kids and adults around, and your dog is behaving appropriately. It's not jumping up on the kids, it's not trying to steal food, it's not being crazy or nonsensical, it's not being a maniac. It's being a joy and a pleasure to be around. The kids might throw like a ball for it, it chases the ball, brings it back, stuff like that. But its behavior is appropriate because you have established clearly what is and is not appropriate behavior. So this kind of also ties in with our previous episode of do dogs really misbehave? That no, they behave in ways they are allowed to. And the thing is, if you do not establish those rules and those structures clearly and concisely for the dog, then the dog will act any way it wants to and any way it can get away with. So that's really it. Establish some rules and structure, keep to it, make sure your dog knows them clearly, concisely, know, concisely knows what they are so that you can have freedom with your dog, an appropriately and well-behaved dog, so that you can have fun and a wonderful, enjoyable life. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Get out there, train your dogs, and have some fun, because training never ends.